Hey class, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn about mats. So we're going to make a mat out of this box that you see on the screen. Click on the box, press Command D to duplicate it. So now you have two boxes. On your second box, um, delete the drop shadow. So go to the effects, just press delete. So now get your cloud there and then put it in between the box, the two boxes. And then if you don't have these options where my mouse is open, you either have to go from this mode, which is toggles, switches, to modes. So go to modes. On your cloud, go right here. Click it and then do alpha matte box outlines too. Click it. What that does is the cloud appears, but if you move the position by pressing P, you can see that it doesn't go beyond the box. And so a mat is almost like an area where things inside are visible, but things outside of the mat are not. This would be different if we went alpha inverted mat. So now the cloud's not going to appear, but when we go outside it, it will appear. So that was the inverted. But we want to have it show within. And now with this, you could animate the cloud coming in. And yeah, and so now you know about mats. And this works the same with the reflection too. When you're animating the reflection, you use mats.